A jet airliner taking off can be tremendously loud if you're less than 100 meters away. But strange as it may seem, the loudest aircraft ever built was propeller driven. It was the XF-84H, nicknamed the Thunder Screech, an experimental plane derived from the F-84 Thunderstreak and manufactured by Republic Aviation for the US Air Force in the early 1950s. The original concept was for a Navy turboprop plane that could take off from the deck of an aircraft carrier without the help of a catapult. It was also thought that the XF-84H had the potential to break the air speed record for a propeller-driven plane. When the Navy cancelled the order, the two remaining prototypes became research aircraft at the Air Force's Propulsion Laboratory at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. The XF-84H was almost certainly the loudest aircraft ever built due primarily to the speed at which the propellers spun around. Unlike standard propellers that turn at subsonic speeds, the outer two to two and a half feet of the blades on the Thunder Screech's propeller traveled faster than the speed of sound, even at idle thrust. The result was a continuous sonic boom that radiated sideways for hundreds of yards. So loud was the aircraft that even when stationary, with its engine idling, it could be heard 25 miles away. It was notorious for inducing headaches and nausea among ground crews. Its estimated sound level of 200 decibels wasn't far short of that of the Saturn V as it launched the Apollo missions to the moon. In one report, a Republic engineer suffered a seizure after close-range exposure to the shock waves from a powered-up XF-84H, and the waves were actually powerful enough to knock a man down. The pervasive noise also severely disrupted operations in the Edwards Air Force Base control tower by risking vibration damage to sensitive components and forcing air traffic controllers to communicate with the plane's crew by light signals. After numerous complaints, the Air Force Flight Test Center directed Republic to tow the aircraft out onto Rogers Dry Lake, far from the flight line, before running up its engine. The XF-84H was destabilized by the immense torque from its propeller. Various design features were introduced to try and counteract this. The two prototypes were also plagued with engine-related problems. A unique aspect of the design was an extendable ram air turbine, which, in the event of an engine failure, would automatically swing out into the airstream to provide hydraulic and electrical power. Due to the frequent engine problems, the unit was often deployed in flight just as a precaution. First flown on July the 22nd, 1955, the Thunder Screech had incredible acceleration, but it soon became clear that it was impractical. It was unsuited to combat due to the engine's 30-minute warm-up time, but the most serious concern was vibration produced by the large, superfast propeller and the various mechanical failures that plagued the engine and prop pitch gearing. The prototypes flew a total of 12 test flights, accumulating under 7 hours of flight time. In September 1956, the Air Force cancelled the program. The loudest plane in the world also became one of the shortest-lived.